My name is Vipu Zivilad. People call me Vip, V-I-P, and my work is here. As you can see here, it's called Trine of Life, Benjapaki Trine. It's including five ceramic deities and put in installations that you could participate. I want to create work that spread love and positive energy, but at the same time, when people look at it, they could go deeper and find meaning in my work. I was remember way before I moved to Australia, I went to a temple and asked for a blessing. And that's when I offer flowers, jasmine flowers to the Buddha or the deities. And I thought that's such a great gesture. So I bring it to the installations. So I ask people to come in, pick up the flowers and offer to the deity of their choice. I also design a ritual myself. So I ask people to actually hold the flower with two hands, raise it above the head and then offer to the deity of their choice. And this is not Buddhism way of offering at all. It's just me creating it to activate the space. I guess it's a metaphor of my way of creating my own life in Australia, my way of creating my own ritual. And it's really fun. <laughs> now I'm at this installation, I realized like it's actually really good because it's not so strong. You have to be in the space to actually smell the jasmine fragrance. And that means you have to spend time with the work to find all these little details. And the sense, we were thinking of so many ways of introducing the sense. Uh, first one was um, jasmine soap that we want to like carve into jasmine flower and stick it on the wall so this smell could come out. But then it's just too strong. And then we think of oil burner, but then it doesn't work because the oil could damage other artwork around us. So we did a lot of process of thinking and researching until we got the very secret recipe that we can't tell anyone. It's here. So if you want to know, you have to come and ask the staff. This is clay, it's ceramic, so that's what I make, that's my material. It's, you know, go through my hair, through my hand to clay and go to fire and come out. It comes together as a cohesive, not just a culture piece, but actually all the elements around it. The work itself, only white and gold color. I introduced blue color as background, backdrop, just to bring them all together. And the scale is so much bigger too. <laughs> it's so much bigger than what I normally made. I remember like when I put the big one into my kill, it just doesn't fit. I have to cut off the top. I measure it, but I just get carry on and I forgot how tall it was. Dog Rock Min Flower of Love, it's part of a bigger project that I work with APT Kit. Dog Rock, it's based on my flower bear work which is a bare form with lots of lots of petals around it. And the APT Kids team turned my work into kind of like a mascot for APT Kids. So I just thought, okay, my work has been just, you know, static for a long time. Can you make them move? And they can make them move. So I thought like, what about, can you make them dance? So they can make them dance. So I just challenging them like, if you can make them dance, maybe four different dance moves. So kids could come along and dance along. And they made up with my challenge. They make my dog rock dance. And it's really, really cute. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, go and do the dance. When I first come to Australia, APT was the first biggest show I ever seen. I come here and I kind of like relate to most of the work in the show. And I thought like it would be so good if one day I could have a show here. And I think 12 years later, I am here. So that's my dream come true.